All right, so today I am going to be going over another uh, sketchbook. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on the Simpsons television show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now, and I'm here to empower you. So uh, this time around, I'm going to be sharing this sketchbook. I usually don't like these paper sketchbooks. I believe that I've, I think I, ha I must have had this in some sort of uh, book cover of some sort. I don't remember actually carrying this book around in this state. So I don't know what happened to whatever book cover I was using to when I was using this sketchbook, but uh, I avoid, I tend to avoid the the flimsy cardboard covered sketchbooks like the plague. But in this case, I somehow made an exception and I used this sketchbook quite a bit. And at this point, the work that I was producing was a lot better than the one, the stuff that I was doing in the previous sketchbooks. And just to let you know that the so far the sketchbooks that I've shown you have been the sketchbooks that I've done from the point where I started breaking through and started my stuff started to look better. So uh, if you are you seem discouraged by the quality of the work. It's because at this point, this is when I actually started doing stuff that actually uh, felt right to me, that felt good, that actually looked like something professional, that looked good. Before that, I didn't. The, the sketchbooks were actually quite ugly. The work was actually quite ugly. I could share those with you, but I don't know if it's going to be in any way entertaining or fun to look at because the work is really bad so let me know if you really want to see those sketchbooks because I don't know if it would be worth looking at um, the stuff is kind of boring a lot of observational drawings a lot of really bad observational drawings really okay so let's take a look at this this particular sketchbook all right so this page um, this is after 2012 because the last sketchbook that I had was of 2012 was around the last point where there was anything drawn in it so I'm assuming that this was sometime after 2012 and so this is my son Dante and these are drawings of a comic that I was thinking of doing kind of a priest character in it uh, I think this was in the previous sketchbook there were drawings like this as well. As I was just continuing the thought from a previous sketchbook. I don't remember which one of the I think it was in sketchbook two or two. Some of those some of those last pages may have had some designs for that for this character. And this is now the the continuation. This is the sketchbook that replaced that large sketchbook from sketchbook uh, two or two. I'm sorry if these drawings are a little bit too light to see. Uh, they are pencil drawings. This is of my son. This is my daughter. And again, uh, designs for that priest. Some figure drawing practice. Just drawing, drawing uh, portraits. Portraits. Here's a pencil drawing. I'm just kind of designing the shadow patterns here on these drawings and then this is with Prismacolor. This is a, a little bit of a nice tighter version of something like this. I was really pushing these characters again. This is something that uh, now looking through these sketchbooks I'm starting to try to redo again. So I'm probably going to start doing these sort of things again in my own well, current sketchbooks because I think that these pushing of the designs of these faces is much more interesting to me than doing a ver verba verbatim uh, design. Uh, I started experimenting at this time with markers and again still pushing the character designs of these things. Of these characters. So this is, this is uh, just color pencil and then with a purple marker around and I was just playing around with markers this is I believe this is my son I was drawing my son here's more of my son here 
really pushing the designs. This I was watching the Three Musketeers, maybe the Four Musketeers, and I was just drawing caricatures of what I saw. I really like this. A lot of, lot of fun colors in here. Early marker drawings. More drawings from the movie. Just these gesture drawings experimenting with markers and a little bit of ink um, some gesture drawing here character designs some of the some black terror character designs of yet another comic book project idea a drawing of my brother and his and my ne my nephew i was just really pushing pushing these drawings like just my brother's gigantic mouth kissing my nephew and he was so happy to get kissed his draw the the photo is just about as silly as this exaggerated version and there it is again trying to trying to capture how silly the the, the photo was and I just wanted to make it a very silly version of it an even sillier version here's some observational drawings from for co-workers i think this we were we were at a party like a, a a party at work and i started just drawing my co-workers here's my nephew i was really trying to push him and then i was drawing his chubby fat little arms and i was just draw, i just loved the the rhythms of the the, the fat on his arms more designs for the Black Terror comic that I never really did anything with. And then now we have Black Terror Kid. This is the very first Black Terror Kid I ever drew, ever. It says November 09, so so this, this is uh, 2009. First ever claw drawings. Some observational drawings. Here's Gio Braun and my friend Raul Aguirre Jr. and just some sketches. I really got to start doing these. I, I I think I really like doing the pencils first and then inking it. I think that that works quite a quite quite well. Uh, this is the Claus Hideout. This is me designing it. This is how I approached it. I did this kind of a blotch, almost like an ink blot and started making something out of it like this and then once i had a uh, a silhouette that was that seemed interesting then i tried to make sense of it and that's where the whole legs and tail came from is because i was just trying to make sense of what it would mean and what it does and again here's some more this is something that i saw dressed in halloween i think there was this was kind of sitting on a chair somewhere and i drew it uh, my my kids playing at at the playground. This is the way my daughter was running with her arms smushed together, pressed together. A draw, a rough drawing of Javier Hernandez's character El Muerto. If you haven't read his comic, I would recommend it. Here's El Muertito, his uh, chibi version of El Muerto. Some caricatures of uh, celebrity, um, I forgot his name, uh, John Stewart, there you go. This is David Steinberg caricature and this is just, I think I, there was just a guy that I, that I saw sitting around and I tr tried to caricature him. Uh, all of these are in heavily inspired by Steven Silver. Steven Silver does great caricatures and great uh, observational sketches. And I, so I was really inspired by his, his uh, observational sketches. So I did those. These, this is again, the, the Claws hideout. I, I, this is a more refined version so I could wrap my head around what it would look like. And it's still evolved even from this drawing, this sketch. More drawings of El Muerto. Here's 
a silhouette that I was drawing for myself to try to design him in a more cartoony way. Some uh, studies of uh, the little, the claw version, the, the some hand studies. They're, they aren't very good, but that's the point of studies. It's just to try to get better. Here's a a bit of a black terror kid drawing here just kind of figuring out what I'm going to do with the the characters when I do the comic uh, character design add character and design for I think this is a checklist of stuff that I needed to do what is your point of view just some comps uh, some drawings of uh, Bruce Lee just really working out all this other stuff so just drawing drawing Bruce Lee with with colored pencils I kind of like the this kind of look with the colored pencils and it's not bad it's not bad what's this oh these are comps for the comic so I started comping out the black terror kid comic on this sketchbook this is a drawing I did for my blog at the time it was a little bit more of a autobiographical autobiograph blog where I would write about my week what happened to me and then I would do a drawing making fun of myself on whatever it is that I wrote about and in this case it was that I was going to CTN and I parked my car at the parking lot where I work because CTN was only like three or four blocks away from the studio at the time so what I did was I parked my car I took out my skateboard from the trunk of my car and I was going to skateboard to CTN X and at the same time I started texting on my phone while riding my skateboard and of course don't text and skateboard because I hit one of those you know little bumps on the road that skateboards tend to come to a screeching halt on and I went down just I totally crashed my phone fell on the ground the the lid on my phone broke off the battery went flying off in a different direction uh, yeah, this is this is what happened to me, so I drew it for my blog. The story's still there on my blog, by the way, if you want to read it. I don't know where, but it's, it's there somewhere. So these are comps for the Black Terror Kid comic first page. This is how I I I tried to find ways to compose the fir the original shot and then you can see the the actual finished shot actually you know what you could see the finished shot here i believe that i actually drew the finished one in here and so this is this this was uh, at a uh, family gathering with my uh, in-laws i started drawing uh, everyone that i that, that i was seeing and i think this guy was on tv at the time more El Muerto drawings from Javier Hernandez's El Muerto comic. I just, I don't know. I was, I was just having fun with the idea. I just like the the character idea, the character design idea. You know, he uh, Javier Hernandez has come up with a very cool look for his character. So I really wanted to draw him, and so I did. So here he is, uh, a fi nice final version of El Muerto. And I just some comp stuff. This is this was from a movie. This is a little comp as to how I would uh, add tone to this if I was to add tone. Just working on the the foreground, middle ground, background. This is a a bit of a, a Jesus icon design. I I I like the idea of uh, Eastern Orthodox icons. I think they have a very interesting design sensibility, but I always think that those icons are extremely ugly. So, so I was thinking, how could I 
take the, the same idea of those icons and make them a little prettier you know and and make them you know and so that that was the idea behind that this these drawings here this is a drawing of my son and my daughter chibi style and this here is a drawing of my nephew Paolo and my my brother and his wife and I was gonna draw them really I was gonna draw them chibi I don't know if you could see they're really it's really tiny and here's a bigger version of that my brother he's kind of got a pinhead so I kind of drew him as like a pinhead so this is Javier Hernandez here this is Jim Lujan over here this is Raul and this is a different this is a character for um, um oh man I forgot his name but uh, and I forgot this guy's character's name too this is Jim Lujan and I messed up his eyes so I tried to use white out on it and it, I just kept on messing it up I just kept failing this is my brother and my brother my my son my daughter and her brother my son Dante and Elizabeth uh, making a gingerbread house at my parents house and um, this is the uh, painted version of the black terror kid that I did digitally so I just kept it in here I just scanned it in and, and colored it and this here is the actual first pass rough of the first uh, panel of the Black Terror Kid comic. So I did it all in my sketchbook and then what I did was I scanned it in and I did a second pass well no I, 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 I blew it up and then I did a second pass on another sheet of paper and then I inked it so there was no digital anything. I just took this uh, transferred it to an 11 by 17 in a photocopy machine and then I did a, a final line and an ink pass on top of that final line. And this is what it looks like when I do a comic. So I rough it all out in like mini little thumbnails and I come up with all the shots like this. And then I figure out the page layout after the fact. So there's there's number there I figure out like this is panel one this is panel two panel three panel four panel five panel six seven eight nine ten eleven and then once I figure out what that is then I go in and I and then I come up with the page layout like this on post-its so here's the entire comic thumbnails just me working out the thumbnails for the Black Terror Kid comic. And here's the me working out the pages so you can see the pages here work getting worked out. I don't know if you can see them. But. And this is again Paolo, Paolo, Paolo and I don't know who these were. I kinda like the idea of having a pencil pass before I do the final line. More Black Terror Kid pages actually this is the full this is the actual page I started roughing it out here before I realized that perhaps I should do it on the on the actual size piece of paper more black terror kid and here's that monkey monkey mod I believe that's his name monkey mod that's the character's name he's not my character uh, just uh, cross C cross is the last name of the guy who created this um what was it jason cross something like that so but i drew i drew monkey mod and speaking of monkeys i wrote down a bunch of monkeys here so i wanted to do something that was similar to say um kung fu panda but instead of 
kung fu, they were going to be Japanese samurai. So I decided to make samurai monkeys. And not only samurai monkeys, but they were going to be... It was going to be... The story is going to be like a variation of the Three Musketeers. So I started designing the samurai chimps. Samurai monkeys, I should say. Because they... Uh, this is a purple-faced uh, Langer's uh, monkey samurai. This is a Duke Langer samurai. This is a baboon samurai. This is a Galeta baboon samurai. Uh, I believe these are Capuchin, Capuchin samurai. This is a another baboon, a Galata baboon samurai. This is a lion tamarind samurai down here, this little tiny one. So this is this is the Gala baboon with a hat on. These are pretty cool, I like them. This is a gibbon samurai and an orangutan samurai. He's not a monkey, he's an ape. And here's a little So they're kind of uh, I, I believe it was called samurai apes because I wanted to use both apes and monkeys. This is a rhesus macaque samurai. This is a white-faced capuchin. I really like the macaques and the capuchins. They were pretty cool. They make really cool samurai designs. This is, this is them gonna, they're gonna fight here. This is a chimp samurai. So these are chimps. Chimp samurai. This is still a macaque here. And so I have like a little bit of a size relationship. Here's a gorilla. This is how big the gorilla would be. Here's some dynamic compositions to put these samurai in. I mean, these these this is still not a bad idea. It's, it's pretty... I'm, I like this notion still. And this is a macaque, an actual from from life. This isn't this this is from reference. This is a from a photo. These are from a photo from photos too. This is from a photo. So one of the things I think that I, I was losing control. I, I thought that perhaps I needed more to, to study the the chimps better. So I, I started just actually drawing them from photos and, and uh, just to try to wrap my head around what they would really look like before I started um, <clears throat> caricaturing them. So these are all from photos, except for this one. This one I made up. I think this is from... I think these two have, may, may have been from using... Uh, uh, from my imagination, but using refer, but looking at photos, and the these are from photos, but these are from my imagination with photos opened up, and this is from a photo, and this is from a photo, this is from a photo, and then I started kind of trying to wrap my head around monkey the 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 ape shapes here. And then this is again a macaque. So this, I this, these design ideas were of this samurai, and he's he's like uh, the 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 like like the Yojimbo from um, from the Yojimbo movie, the Mifune type of samurai. So he's got his hands in in his gi, just like the you know, just like Yojimbo. And then he's like sitting there with his hands sticking out of his gi, not in his sleeves. So I, I really like this this character design. And here he is looking a little bit more ape. And here's me doing a few uh, nose studies. And here's Dwayne Johnson. And I think this was my aunt. And just just faces. This is another Dwayne Johnson. And Messenger, love Messenger. This is from a verses. Th this, these are the roughs from from my my verses drawings. This is um, 
Tigra versus Cheetah, and this is Mary Marvel versus Miss Marvel playing marbles. And this is Miss Marvel. This is just a sketch from life. This is a copy from a comic. Uh, these are just uh, drawings, just sketches, and faces, and just making up faces. This is supposed to be Mary Marvel. This is from studying from a figure drawing book. Wrapping my head around figure drawing, trying to draw better figure drawings, and, and, and using ink. This is one of the first times I started using ink to do figure drawing. And here is, I believe this is pencil on paper from figure drawing book. Just doing figure drawing studies. Figure draw, more figure drawing studies from a figure drawing book. And then this is from life. And more figure drawing studies from a figure drawing book, but this time I was using marker. And this is marker without actual any any lines or anything. This is just color pencil and and gray markers. And this is a combination of everything figure drawing but exaggeration. So I I, I used a red pencil to do really exaggerated figures, really pushing caricaturing the figures. And then I went in with black, a black brush pen. And then I went in on top of that with a gray marker. I think these are, these look really good. I've never done this again. And I think they really work. And here's some inspiration. Some Scotty Young, because he, his characters are really great. Scotty Young drawings here. And that's the, that's the sketchbook. I don't know what this is. Join the cast of heroes. There's something here. I don't know what that is all about. So that's the that's the sketchbook. Thank you for for watching. Thank you for looking through the sketchbook. This sketchbook is pretty pretty solid. I have a lot of really interesting stuff here, and I really like the whole uh, samurai chimp idea. Um, I think that it, it's it's very cool, and I like a lot of the designs I came up with. Uh, I still don't know if I'm going to do anything with it, but um, I still may. I don't know. We'll see. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, and uh, thank you, all every all my patrons who are uh, patrons on Patreon for your support. And also, I would like to encourage you, if you're not a patron, then uh, I would encourage you to join me on Patreon and, and support me because it's, uh, it's very helpful and encouraging and it helps me uh, continue doing uh, these videos. Thank you so much, everyone. I will see you next time. All right, bye.